Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new here, I am Psychic Bella Love and you can book your own personal private reading with me on my website, psychicbellalove.com and also you can use coupon code YouTube to get $10 off any reading. That coupon is good for anybody to use it at least once. So um, we are going to be looking at James Charles today. So if you guys watched my previous reading on him, I did predict that he would get canceled again, that there would be more stories coming out about his, as Nick Snyder calls them, PDF file behavior, <laughs> which I think is perfect. Uh, <laughs> so uh, I just want to see, like, is he actually really going to get canceled? Is he going to, like, you know, have any consequences from this? Because he seems to kind of have these stories pop up so much and then they just sort of go away. And everybody's wondering, is this going to be like Shane and Jeffrey where they get canceled, but not really. And they just keep like going on about their business. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. So please join us and answer any questions in regards to James Charles. What can we expect going forwards in his career? Is he going to truly get canceled and suffer consequences from this? Thank you, Spirit. We're asking only with the intention and purpose of clarity and understanding, not with any bad intent, only so that we know which way to move forwards. Thank you. Spirit, please bless and protect all who ask about this reading, as well as all who watch and participate. Thank you, Spirit, for joining us. Amen. And if you've been following along, I got rid of my desk because I ordered a new one and a whole setup, and... It's been, that's why I haven't been on here because the desk came late and broken. I had to reorder one and my kid was on spring break. So it's really hard to film like out here, like when he's running in and out of the door. Plus you guys had me booked up with private readings too. So I'm trying to film. Hopefully this new desk comes soon. just been nothing but stress and a freaking hassle so that's why I have to shuffle my cards on the floor over here because I'm filming on my coffee table um because there's not very much light in my dining room and I tried to see if I could make it better but it just looked really yellow and shadowy in there and then plus like it echoes because I have wood floors Oh, and you guys aren't going to see me use cards as much either. Like, I don't, I'm not really like a tarot, tarot reader like that. Like I read intuitively anyways. And <laughs> I just use cards usually to connect in the beginning or just to save my energy when I'm reading a lot, you know, between celebrities and then my private clients all day, but I don't need them. So that's why when people say, we can't see your cards, I'm like, I don't even know how you set things up so that your phone doesn't fall over to catch that anyways. But on top of it, I don't need them, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> so uh, James is, get, you guys, don't be surprised if we don't see James suddenly trotting out some guy as his boyfriend. And this would be somebody who's age appropriate and it really is like how Jeffrey tried to distract us with that Andre guy acting like he was, you know, his boyfriend when he really obviously wasn't to take the heat off of him as the racist, you know, which come on, we all know Jeffrey Star is a racist, but um, it does feel James trying to be manipulative and trying to get out of things with this lover's card and him showing up as this king of cups as in. I'm trying to manipulate people's emotions. I'm trying to change people's perceptions. It's like doing what he can in the sneakiest of ways as the truth comes out to try to get the heat off of him. He is going to be really playing up on people's emotions too right now. Like, I'm gay. I'm young. I didn't know better. You guys are being mean to me. I'm suicidal. Like, the same stuff that he's, you know, that... It's like spirit saying, you know, because people did run with that the last time around, like, oh my God, Tati and James and um, Jeffrey and Shane all made um, James almost want to kill himself. So it's like, 
well, everybody felt bad for me last time. So if I do that again, I say that again, you know, whatever. Yes, I have a very small TV, by the way, guys, because I told you I don't watch TV. <laughs> I will buy a new one someday, though. But so with anyways, you know, it, he's more concerned about anything about this affecting his money, his work, his opportunities with this world card. So right now with the hangman and the ten of or the nine of wands, we saw that in his apology, he said he was going to take a break and work on himself. That's it's more let me take a break and work on making sure that I can keep my relationships with my sponsors. Let me make sure that this isn't going to ruin and devastate me financially. You know, that is what he is most concerned about, obviously. Spirit, are we going to get more stories of people coming out? I just keep getting that as we get into the next um, Mercury retrograde, there's going to be so much that's going to come out about a lot of these big influencers, maybe some of the people like T.I. and Tiny and James that we have already heard some stories. It's like more and more comes out and really big stuff where it's like, okay, now we really actually have to do something about this. There's proof or there's deeper allegations or whatever. Like, and it's not just James and Tiny, you know, it's just using them as the examples, but I do feel like there is more. Also, there's something big that's going to come out again about Shane and Jeffrey each separately. And them doing something like behind the scenes together as in, because it feels like every time Shane thinks the coast is clear and it's time for him to come back out, like something else from the past pops up again against him. And so Spirit saying that like right when he thinks he's about to make his big comeback, here comes this story. Did you know that Shane and Jeffrey did? And then it's like, well, I got to stay in the house. <laughs> I mean, you know, there's people like Jeffrey and Nikita Dragon that just never address shit. And when they do, it's just like, I'm sorry, okay? Look it. I went shopping at Versace this morning, you guys. I want to show you my new purse instead. That's more important to me. You know, like, they just seem to keep going and getting away with things. But, uh, Okay, see, Three of Cups, Palace of Coins, and Tower card coming. So for now, James is going to think that he is that he got out of it. Like, nobody can hold me accountable. I'm good. I got out of this. But with this full card, you're thinking a little too early, bud, because look what happens. More people are coming out. And this feels like a lawsuit. It feels like... Somebody's going to come out and say something really big and sue. Yeah, the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Coins. There's two younger men. Oh, and the Knight of Swords, too. There's three younger men who are actually going to go get themselves one of those Lisa Bloom type lawyer people. And they're going to go after James. Here he is coming as this king of coins. And not only are they looking for justice, but they actually want him to have to pay them or at least to them. It's more about like, if we sue you, then we hold you accountable. You know, or at least that's like the terms that people are saying around it. Like, okay, well, you know what, like people have threatened or people call the cops and they didn't do anything about it or whatever else it is that we've done to try to like stop him. Nothing else has worked. So maybe by suing him and his money is in jeopardy, that's what's going to hold him accountable. But there is something like that that is coming. James, your career is about to just completely like go away. And he's going to be here in this Ten of Swords moment. But, you guys, world card, so it is part of his karma. Also, 
Because it's like when he goes away, he doesn't stop doing it. He still keeps talking to people. He still keeps doing the same stuff. He just doesn't learn. He thinks that if he just apologizes really well and cries and then says he's going to go do better, that that's going to change things. But when he does this too, the same way that we're seeing a rehashing, you know, where people are pulling up. He said this on Logan Paul's podcast. He said this in somebody's video. There's going to be even more stuff being dragged up from the past all over again with this. With this strength and this temperance card here, it's like, your spirit guides tried to stop you. Your ancestors tried to warn you. Like all you had all this spiritual warnings. And if you still keep choosing to make the same dumb mistakes, then they're going to stick you in that tower moment. This is the thing, you guys. As much as our ancestors and our guides love us and want to protect us and help us, if we're out here doing harmful things to others, they're just going to stand back and be like, you deserve your karma and we're going to let you have it. They're not going to save us from that kind of stuff. They warn us, and when we keep doing it, you know, that's where people get those close calls, and instead of being like, oh, shit, you know, I learned a lesson, it's like, well, I got away with it, so let's see what else I can do next time, you know, or next time I'll be a little more careful instead of being like, next time I'm not doing it anymore. So, it, Spirit, what else do we need to know about this whole James Charles situation? Thank you. Okay, I saw, um, I think it was on, because I've been watching mostly Dustin Daly, The Viewer's Voice, and Petty Page for updates on this whole thing, because I just don't want to watch James Charles's channel, to be honest with you, and Petty Page, just like Trisha Paytas, has really been on this whole story and demanding that they do something about James Charles. In it... I believe it was her, if not, it was Angelica Oles, who said one of the boys that this happened with, his mother, like, reported it to the police. I don't know if it's necessarily 100% connected to that situation of her calling the police, but I do get there being a woman here who is not playing about her kids and her family James, you're looking at legal consequences for this shit, not just getting sued, like actual, like, you might actually end up like having a deal with the real authorities behind this. <sighs> Expect that when anybody does try to hold him accountable in a deeper way, you guys, he is going to claim, again, I didn't know, I got tricked. People are just trying to get money out of me. It's a cash grab, but it really isn't. It really is just all of your dirty deeds that you have done over the years has come to light. Also, guys, there's a story that's going to come out about him paying off people in the past, too. There's a lot of sneaky shit that James has done, you guys, that we haven't even found out about. Not just connected to this, like, talking to underage guy stuff. Just other things in general of him really being a shitty bad person. We might even get some racism claims against him too, this feels like. Because there's this magician here with the Seven of Swords of covering up and hiding sneaky shit that's been done or wrong things that have happened. And there was money behind it. However, right now, James, you're in the best place that you're going to be in for quite a while. Let's just say that. Like, as much as you think, like, oh, my God, people are actually holding me accountable, 
You are in the best situation that you can possibly be in going forwards because more and more people are banding together to come out and tell everybody what you did. So you're sitting here in your hermit card moment thinking that every that shit's sweet and it's going to turn around and people are going to forget. Mm -mm. People are going to come out and talk more, 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 more about you. And your ancestors and guides and angels are letting it happen, James. They tried really hard. They don't, they're just like, this is the only way we can stop you. So, but like I said, there's more to come. More heartbreak for James, but it is from him, his own doing. And, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if some of these people that are suing him are saying that they need mental health help and that that's why they're suing to get their costs covered or something. Because whether he wants to completely realize it or not, Spirit is saying that some of the things that he did where he thought it was innocent and just talking or being manipulative or just trying to chit chat or be sexy with somebody really did have some kind of lasting consequences on some of these people's mental health and they need healing from him. So, you know, your ancestors and guides are not going to let you just walk around hurting people. They're going to take a step back and say, we're going to let karma take its place. And that's exactly where you're at now, James. So anyways, guys, I need to get out of this energy. Plus, I got to get up off the floor because my leg is like falling asleep. I love you all so very much. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I will find ways to post videos, guys. Don't worry. And I will see you all again real soon. Make sure you follow on Station Head. I have still been over there every day. And I will see you all later. All my information will be in the description box below. Bye, guys.